is Michael Ford search dead now that Fujifilm X-T50 arrived to the market? Will somebody buy any Michael Ford search camera now that we have a Fujifilm X-T50? Let's talk about this now. Hi there and welcome to my channel. I want to address here a tough problem for the Michael Ford search fanboys and for the Michael Ford search users now that we have Fujifilm X-T50. So if you are in content like this, please subscribe now, now, now to my channel. Because X-T50, it's a rock, it's a racket, and it's a game changer, especially for the Michael Ford Search users. And I want to show you this on camera, because I have here Olympus OMD M10 Mar 4 and because I'm a fan of the Michael Ford Search system, because of the small factor and because of the IBIS and of the AF. So these were one of the biggest advantages of a Michael Ford Search camera. Great AF, great IBIS and small factor. But Olympus and Lumix didn't release any new camera and Olympus didn't put the latest tech in the small cameras because they went all with the latest tech in the bigger cameras. But I'm shooting for myself a Micro Four Search system because it is small and because it is capable, how I've said, to get nice shots. But I don't have the latest technology in them. And with XT50, I have the latest technology in a camera that is as small as Olympus OMD M10 Mar 4, one of the smallest and latest Micro Four Thirds cameras. So look here, Olympus versus Fujifilm X-T50, and I will address these two packages probably in another video, so please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. But look at them. Look, X-T50, it is the same size and almost the same weight as Olympus OMD M10 Mark IV. This has a 20 megapixel Micro Four Thirds sensor, while X-T50 has a 40 megapixels APS-C CMOS backside illuminated x 5 sensor <laughs> that it's rendering almost full frame like image quality. It's very close to a full frame, especially with a great lens. Even if I will buy a pro Micro Four Thirds lens, I will never be able to get as good image quality as I am getting with X-T50 with a Pro Lens. This is the truth, so what can I tell you? So, X-T50 it's a big pain in the Micro Four Thirds system because when you will compare specs and end results for day-to-day -day photography, for family photography, for event photography, for travel photography, for holiday photography, for filming yourself, X-T50 is winning it by much because it has all these great features and also it has great IBIS. This is what I want to get. X-T50 with the IBIS on sensor and with a lens, look how small is this lens, that has optical image stabilization, will give you really good image stabilization. Of course, not as close as Olympus will give you, but it's enough for the majority of the photographers. The only downside that X-T50 could say it has, it's the price. Yes, you can buy an Olympus camera very cheap on the used market. I will not pay the full price now, I think, on an OMD M10 Mark IV or even on OM5. Next, XT5, magnesium alloy top plates. Magnesium alloy top plates, not plastic. OMD M10 Mark IV, it's all entirely of plastic and as a OM cameras, I understand. Small cameras, I'm not talking about the flagship cameras. Also, on Fujifilm, you have great lenses, you have the zooms, you have the AF now, you have the colors, lots of options regarding color. Not as nice for nature photography as Olympus colors, but uh, you have enough colors and you can edit the raw files. You can do whatever you want with more options than Olympus. Or Lumix, that they didn't release any new small Micro Four Thirds camera with an improved Micro Four Thirds sensor. Next, you have also some zooms now on uh, Fujifilm. It's not like two years or three years ago. Now you have Tamron zooms, Sigma zooms. So there are many options now on Fujifilm where you can get a similar package like a Micro Four Thirds camera, have similar IBIS, but much better image quality, especially in low light, where the Micro Four Thirds is losing it. 
So this is why I'm saying that uh, Fujifilm X-T50 will be a big problem for a new user that is looking on the market. The only way that a microfossil system could be attractive now for a new user that is not invested in a microfossil system is the price. So yes, I do agree that uh, a microfossil system could win regarding the price, especially if you buy the cameras from the used market or if you will get a very good offer. So if you want to save some money, the microfossil system could still do it. But you lose image quality, especially at noise levels. So at high ISO levels, you lose image quality. You will not have a 40 megapixel sensor that it's a must for some users, but it's not a must for the majority of photographers. And to recover the image quality that you lose on a, a microphone system, you will need to use software like DxO software, like Nick Silver or other software that will take time. If you are a photographer, then you don't want to stay at the computer to edit the raw files too much. So this is where I like Fujifilm a lot because they are offering you great JPEGs. And again, the noise reduction that Fujifilm has and the options and the recipes will help you get great JPEGs and the sensor is much better at high ISO levels even if it's a 40 megapixel sensor. The dynamic range, the tonalities, the organic look of the x sensor is making from X-T50, X-T5 cameras great cameras. And again, the Achille Hill for a micro four search user, I feel that is this camera, X-T50. Why? Because it's small. It's small. It's small as Olympus OMDM Telmar 4, as OM5, as Lumix GX9, and other micro four search cameras. And it's ultra, ultra capable. It's very, very capable. So why would you buy a micro four search camera nowadays? The only reason that I would buy a micro four search camera nowadays is for the price. So I would look for a budget option and get some budget lenses. But even so, if you don't find very, very good offers, I really do feel that XT50, it's a good investment on the long term because the camera, it is bulletproof on the long term. It is very, very good. And the lenses that you can get from Fujifilm and from other third manufacturers parties could be cheaper on the used market. And overall, your investment will be more protected than an investment in a micro four third system. So even if I'm a fan of the micro four third system because we didn't have any new innovations, let's be serious, we don't have any innovation regarding sensor, regarding low light abilities, regarding lenses, regarding small camera bodies, capable, strong, tough camera bodies, not plastic fantastic. I feel that it's normal for any user to look at XT50. Yes, you will pay more, but your investment will be secured because we are talking about Fujifilm cameras. They don't lose value on the second-hand market as a micro four size camera or like other Sony APS-C camera. So you'll keep your investment very well in the Fujifilm body, buying a Fujifilm body, buying a Fujifilm lens. So I'm sorry for the micro four size system, but I feel that XT50, it's a big, big problem nowadays for the micro four third system. Tell me what you think. Leave me your comments. Is micro four thirds now a still viable option that we have XT50 that it's such a small camera that has great AF, great IBIS, great color, amazing jaw dropping image quality. So tell me what you think, leave me your comments, subscribe to my channel, check my next videos about photography gear, Fujifilm and other videos that I've made by clicking the next video. So click, click, click here, the next video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.